Today, the House Select Subcommittee on the Coronavirus Pandemic will hold its first hearing on the origins of COVID-19. That's right. This comes one week after FBI Director Christopher Wray admitted in an interview with uh, Brett Baer that the virus most likely originated in a Chinese lab. Two members of the Select Subcommittee, New York Congresswoman Nicole Malliotakis, along with Arizona Congresswoman Debbie Lesko, join us live from D.C. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Congresswoman uh, Lesko, I think a lot of, because it killed over a million Americans, Americans want to know uh, the U.S. involvement in how much of that lab did we actually fund? You're exactly right. Americans deserve to know, and they deserve not to be lied to. And that's why our committee is formed, and that's why we're trying to get to the bottom of it. Millions of dollars uh, went from the National Institute of Health to the Echo Health Alliance. Of that, I believe at least $600,000 went to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which now we believe, at least two agencies believe, was the cause of the lab leak. So mm -hmm. why are U.S. taxpayer dollars going to fund a Chinese lab right. that's studying the bat coronavirus that may have killed over 7 million people in the world? It's, it's crazy. It is crazy. Congresswoman Maliotakis, what do you expect to hear? What do you want to learn? And if that is true, if we're funding this lab in China, can we prevent that from happening going forward? Well, that's the goal of this. For, for two years, the Democrats had stonewalled. They prohibited any hearing in this subcommittee to go after the origins of this virus. And if we don't know the origins, how we can prevent it from happening in the future. And it seems here that Dr. Fauci was involved in one of the biggest cover-ups in American history when he told us that it was not the lab leak, um, but instead it was natural origins. And now we're finding out more and more that there is an email trail, there were conversations had with scientists. He asked actually pushed for a paper to be released that debunked the, the lab leak. Uh, but yet, now we're finding out from the various agencies in this administration that, indeed, what Republicans were saying all along and what we were accused of being conspiracy theories for, theorists for, that this lab leak did occur, is happening more and more. There's mounting evidence that there was a cover-up. And you know what? As of last Monday, this administration, the White House itself, has been denying that gain-of-function research was taking place. Right. It still defends gain-of-function uh, research, and it's denying that the lab leak occurred. So there are a lot of questions here. We want answers, because as you mentioned, 1.1 million Americans, that is nearly as many as, as many as the number of Americans that were killed in every war since the American Revolution combined. And so we will get the answers that the Democrats failed to do over the last two years. Every, everybody's, every family in America has been touched in some way by COVID. Absolutely. And Congressman Lesko, you know, Regarding what uh, uh, Michelle just was, uh, Nicole was just talking about regarding gain of function, you know, when uh, Dr. Fauci has been up on Capitol Hill, uh, he gets into a lot of legal language. He sounds like a lawyer. You know, they, they've got it down so that he's able to deny gain of function because of how they define gain of function at the organization he heads. Well, yeah, we have to be very careful how we ask questions because they can evade us. Now, in a committee hearing that I had recently, I was able to question the NIH director. And he, again, claimed that none of the funding went to coronavirus research. But I grilled him a little bit more and said, how do you know that yeah. when the Chinese data was not released and the NIH even deleted the sequence of the virus at the Chinese request? So there's something fishy going on here, and that's why Republicans want to get to the bottom of this, not only because millions of people died and more millions of people got infected, but because it's important for the origins for the next pandemic. Yes. We have to combat that. You're right. We don't want to go through it again. Thank you so much, ladies. Great to see you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.